How's it going guys, Mr. Game of Fame here, and today we have the first episode of the New York Mets franchise mode here on MLB The Show 17, and I am really excited to begin this series. I tried a little less than two years ago, I only made one video of the uh, of the series in MLB 15, that was actually my first video on the channel, and I didn't do any, that was the only video. And I want to make this a series. I want to do a lot more videos, and hopefully I can, you know, balance this this series and with my Madden Dolphin series. So I'm very excited to start this this the series. And I and I also wanted to wait for the OSFM roster. Obviously, a little more obviously has more realism. So that is what I wanted. So I'm really excited to start this franchise. This is. The New York Mets are my favorite team. You know, I've been through, you know, some of the good points, mostly in recent memory, and I've gone through some of the bad, bad memories. And it seems like now they're turning the corner. They've, they have a pretty good management group. They've had good players. They've drafted well, especially, you know, this, this pitching. So it's a lot of good things in this team. There's a lot of good prospects. You know, if you just saw that starting uh, that starting rotation, it is absolutely filthy, and none of those guys are over 30 years old. That is absolutely ridiculous. They're 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 just beasts and awesome. Obviously, they're it's gonna be a pain in the butt to re-sign every single one. It's gonna be a lot of money. So yeah, uh, so yeah, if you see here, you know, starting relief, closing. Jerry's familiar. Obviously, he's, he's um he is suspended in real life. I'm going to sit him out. For the first 15 games uh, but actually in, in the second episode uh, I tell um, we'll get to it we'll get we'll get to it in a second so so if you see you're catching yeah Travis Darno who will be the starter we don't have a lot of top prospects in uh, catching but at first base on the other hand you have Lucas do that 80 overall very uh, inconsistent player you know he has a lot of power but he you know his vision, 49, not good. He doesn't swing a lot of good pitches. He's he's an extreme pull hitter, like you just saw. But as a young prospect, we have Dominic Smith, 61 overall, eight potential. I am very excited to see what he's going to turn out in the future. Second base, we have Neil Walker. He came from he came from the Pittsburgh Pirates for John Neese. He played well, but unfortunately, his season was cut short due to injury. We don't have a lot of top prospects at second base. Third base, we have David Wright, who is injured. And, you know, I need to try my best to, you know, to determine when he's going to sit out. And there's a bunch of us, like Steven Matz and Brandon Nimmo, like those players. So I'm going to, like, say, like, some of these players are going to be injured. You know, well, we'll get to them. But it's the third base. We have Gavin Chichini, C potential to see 62 overall. Not bad. Shortstop, we have Azul Cabrera. He had a very surprising season, and I am excited to use him again. He, he looks pretty good last year, and we also have Jose Reyes. He will be starting third base, uh, so yeah, we won't use TJ Rivera, although I like TJ Rivera, but Jose Reyes, yeah, 80 overall, he is starting, but we have the top prospect on our organization, 63 overall, a potential, Ahmed Rosario, very excited. Hopefully we could see him maybe this year if he progresses that well. If he progresses well, if not next year. So left field, we have you obviously have Jonas Cespedes that has signed a, a big contract. Look at that, 99 arm strength. He's an absolute monster. And man, he at 31, man, he is just an absolute beast. We also have Michael Conforto. I really, really like Michael Conforto, but I don't know where to put him in this in this roster. Obviously, you know, you can replace him with Jay, you can replace Jay Bruce with him, so you can see. But, we have the legend himself, Tim Tebow, 43 overall, deep potential. He is awful. He, there's those stats, he is terrible. But, as for fun, maybe a September calls, we can, we can call him up, or we can play a, a minor league game. Who knows, we can do that, to have some fun, because Tim Tebow, why the hell not? And Chris Granson, he'll be our starting center fielder. Uh, to, he's been a fairly serviceable player, to be honest, in his, in his tenure. So he's been solid. And obviously, you have uh, you know Jay Bruce. Ah, uh, you know what? What can I say? Really, he's eh. You know, he did not have a good season with with New York. 
And obviously, overall, he, he was really good, but in New York, he, he struggled quite a bit. So actually, I released two players. I don't really want to do, I didn't really want to do this because I wanted to, you know, at least wait later on in the season, but I wanted to sign these players. So I released Jose Rosario and Kyle, and Kyle uh, Regnall, two uh, relief pitchers. And the reason why I, want, I did that because I wanted to sign two free agents. So I decided to sign Alex Liddy, who looks, those stats are, that's, that's good. Those are some good stats. He, in real life, he's playing in Mexico, I believe. So we decided to give him a two-year contract with 1.6 million. That's some more depth at, in the infield. And also, we were lacking some prospects. So I looked at Ricardo De La Torre from Puerto Rico, 18 years of age, 62, B potential. And I decided to switch him to second base because I wanted to add some more depth there. So, I, it was, so I I added Liddy to the to the 40 man roster. And then I promoted him, and then if you see uh, Ricardo De La Torre, I put him at at second base, and then I switched his secondary to you know shortstop. All that and he, and so we actually here's the thing I totally forgot I it just totally just went by my brain. I, I sent down Josh Smoker. I should have dropped down Jared's familiar because I just but well, I just totally forgot. Uh, I just yeah I, I just totally it just totally grew up breeze by my head when I was when I was filming this. So that that's so all so that's all me. That is all me. And you'll see uh, next episode, guys. So yeah, that that's that's my bad. So if you see here, there's the lineup. Well, it's pretty much the same. The same lineup, up and down, except for some of the DHs. DH for a left hand, uh, left hand pitcher. It's uh, it's Alex Liddy, and for right handed pitchers, I want to say it was Michael. It was like Michael Conforto. So yeah, yeah. That so that's uh, that's the lineup as you can see. It's a pretty solid lineup, top to bottom. Only one player under 80 overall. It's pretty good to be honest. And. And here's the starting rotation. Look at that. Syndergaard, DeGrom, Harvey, Wheeler, and Gazelsman is a good player. Obviously, we have to wait until Steven Matz returns because he's injured. So I'll wait. So I'll do like a estimated return on him. So, and you see the bullpen. Pretty good bullpen, to be honest. Obviously, Jared's familiar. Obviously, my, my apologies. So here's the, um, the player morales as we go down. So yeah, this is, this is exciting. I really want to, you know, Go far in this franchise, and the format I'm gonna do it in is probably just like kind of what I do for Madden, like a like play-by-play. -play. You see here the top prospects. Uh, spoiler alert: I don't have no Met player on there. There's no Met player on, on the top prospects. Pretty shocking. Not even Smith or Rosario. So yeah, format play pretty much like a play-by-play, -play, like what I usually do for for what's his face. Pretty much for. For Madden, you see the contracts as well. Some of the big contracts like David Wright, Joanna Cespedes, you know, Legar's making like another six mil for the next like three years, I want to say. I like, I like Legar, he's, he's a fantastic fielder. As you can see, uh, team performance, win 10 consecutive games, obviously. Oh yeah, and uh, GM firing, I believe, was on. So I could be fired. And who knows, I could do it, maybe I'd do a different series. That'd be fun. So here's also the postseason when the wild card division World Series go undefeated in the postseason. That's gonna be tough. Game stats scored 20 runs in a single game. Okay, that is gonna be tough. And you see job security is average. GM rating C obviously because we just started. Contract goal is to win the league pennant, and your league goal is to reach the postseason. So my hitting difficulty and my pitching difficulty will be on all star. It could, you know, it could change. Maybe if it, I think it's too hard, I could just switch it down to medium. Not, not medium, it's a veteran. And then if it's too easy, I'll go to, what is it, Hall of Fame or something? I don't know what's the the, um, the difficulty above All-Star. So that's really it, guys. Stay tuned for the season opener against the Atlanta Braves. So I'm really excited to start this this franchise up. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more content on this channel. Follow me on Twitter at MrGameFame. And I'll see you guys next time.